Newly released body camera video shows the moment an officer opened fire and killed an 88 year old man in West Sacramento who was holding a gun. Shots fired. Shots fired. He was a man oh, the department God. knew very well, a former volunteer, in fact. CBS 13 Steve Large spoke with his family tonight who says he suffered from mental health issues. It's an interview you'll see only on CBS 13. And the shooting death of this 88 year old man really shaking up this West Sacramento community. For the first time tonight, as you mentioned, we're hearing from his family, but we're also seeing for the first time this dramatic police body camera video. Here's some of it right now. Hey, how's it going, sir? Can I help you? Oh, Shots fired. Shots fired. Put down the gun! West Sacramento police releasing this body camera video showing 88 year old Robert Coleman had pulled up in a vehicle behind several police cars, got out of his vehicle, and pulled out a gun. Now, only on CBS 13, we spoke to Coleman's two daughters holding a photo here of their father and mother together. They say their dad had been suffering from mental health issues for the past year and a half, and that the police video shows, in their view, officers used appropriate force. They are heartbroken. Our dad had a beautiful relationship with the West Sacramento Police Department. And I actually viewed the um, video. And due to the situation, the officers had to respond. Mm -hmm. It was tragic, but they had to respond. To see him suffer with mental illness, and you just don't think that will happen to your family. And it did, especially with someone like him who, who cared about everyone. Coleman's daughters are still unsure how their dad located those officers. They know he owned a gun, but thought they had taken all of his weapons away from him. Coleman had been married to his wife for 67 years. He was a one-time West Sacramento code enforcement officer and also a volunteer police officer. The officers involved in that shooting are on paid administrative leave right now, pending the investigation of the shooting.